At 18 minutes after 8, in the room, we have Eric Latif, C.T. Muga, Nduoko, and Dr. Mercy Career. And now joining us on the line is John Gumi, the chairman of the Kenya Pipeline Co Corporation. Good morning, John. How are you? Good morning, and how are you? Good morning. We're fine, thank you. And it is Kenya Pipeline Company, Company. not Corporation. Yes, I, I thought so. As, as <laughs> the tongue went off into Corporation, and then... Uh -huh. <laughs> right. It had okay. already gone. Kenya Pipeline Company. Right. Mr. Gumi, thank you very, very, very much for uh, being with us on uh, this morning's show. Let me just shoot from the hips. What exactly does Kenya Pipeline do? And what have they done to help stem this tide of the coronavirus? Right. Our day job is to receive, transport, and deliver uh, petroleum products, premium products, petrol, diesel, and aviation gas to users in Kenya. Mm -hmm. That's our day job. Right. That day job, uh, to, to come to the second part of your question, means that we, ha we have expertise in various areas. We have a highly trained team of industrial chemists, and that is where our involvement in the current sanitizer distribution campaign comes in. Our, our chemists uh, were able to convince us that uh, given that sanitizers are, are, are really alcohol-based, uh, that, that there was the capability within KPC and within the oil industry in general to produce sanitizers quickly and, and efficiently for mass distribution. Mm. So we rounded up uh, the industry. Uh, got government to get to give us uh, our ethanol mm -hmm. and the outcome is that uh, we have already pr produced uh, with our partners 130,000 liters of sanitizers and hope to produce within the next three to four weeks up to a million liters. And what would you say is the actual cost of producing uh, these sanitizers? Tough to say. We will do that. Uh, we will do that costing at, at the end of, at the end of the process. Yes. Uh, but uh, what we can say roughly is around it, what the one million liters will cost. Roughly two billion. That is not the street value, of course. Hello, Mister Gumi. We've lost him. I'm sure we'll get him back. Yeah, so let's try and call him back. Um, Brian, let's try and call John Gumi back. Uh, this is the chairman of the Kenya Pipeline Company, John Gumi. He's giving us a rundown of what Kenya Pipeline is doing, working with the other players in the industry to get at getting to at least a million liters of hand sanitizer over the period. <coughs> that's, that's a good amount. That's a good amount. If you think about that small thing, it's about what, 100 ml? It's about 120, 150 ml. The 150 one. ml. Right. Mm. So when you distribute that many, 1 million liters for free uh, to the people, that's that's a good thing. Now, he was telling us, it, what he was mentioning about 2 billion. 2 billion. Yeah. In terms of cost, and I was asking was the, whether that was a street value or, uh, or should call it market value, or was it just the cost? Mm, of mm. getting it out. Mm. Yeah, it would be interesting to know if that is the case. I mean, I can't wait to get him back on the line because then to ask questions then in terms of uh, getting that into the actual hands or pockets of, of people and hear what uh, the plan would be for that. And whether the other countries that who do what Kenya Pipeline Company does <coughs> and whether they've followed suit because this to me sounds like an innovation. Mm. Who would have thought that a company that actually deals with petroleum products mm. would take a lead in producing sanitizers. I guess it goes to what you talked about, that you know, infrastructure is, uh, an in infrastructure and networks are already existing. They do. So you can imagine they already have certain infrastructure in place for the kind of manufacturing that they're involved in already. It's just so then it. saying, we can improvise and say, we also John, can John Gumi is back. Else. Okay. Sorry, we lost you, John. I am back. I was about to say that the street value would come to four billion if we were to go out there and, uh -huh. and aggressively mark, mar, market these products commercially. Right. Okay, John. Uh, just on on that cost, huh? 
Mm-hmm. Um, from from another manufacturer, not really a big scale mm-hmm. like yours, the mm-hmm. five litre goes for about mm-hmm. 3,200 street value, which is about mm-hmm. 640 shillings per litre. So mm-hmm. if you are at 2 billion for a million 1 million litre. litres, that means your mm-hmm. cost is 2,000 shillings per litre. Isn't it's that possible. a bit high, considering this is mass production as opposed to other smaller scale what 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 different thing are you doing that the other people in the market are not doing i couldn't that question is is one that i'll need to to answer you in a couple of weeks but don't forget that our costing includes everything uh from bringing the ethanol from breaking it out from getting companies to stop their lines and do other things so ours Ours is an approximate cost based on what we believe these other companies are having to are having to uh, to, uh, to 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 stop doing in order to do this. I'd, I'll be keen to to know the answer you because four thousand per litre is is get it. is crazy. Mm. Mm. Sounds high. You you get it. Uh, that is. That is a cost, uh, as I said, we will run through our costings entirely and come back. I'm more than happy to be asked this, this question in a couple of weeks. All right. All right. Uh, John, at the same time, then how were you able to get this done? Uh, using the infrastructure that you have in place, existing already, to then yes. do this? Could you go through that mm-hmm. a little what, bit? Yeah, what we have is following. Now, number one, all the oil companies have labs. Mm. Laboratories that that can can actually do do the formulation. Mm-hmm. Number two, uh, oil, oil companies have been very very generous in in letting us have their lube lines mm-hmm. uh, for uh, for for uh, for using to 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 pack this in. Number three, we've got uh, um, connections already existing. Uh, relationships with 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 SGR, with Mask, with e- and EBL, Coca Cola, and others have come in as well and are actually doing the distribution. Right. So all 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 we've done is mm. is to take existing infrastructure that that works in Kenya and adopted it to this. In terms of distribution, then to the citizens or distribution to uh, what and who are we talking about? Uh, are we looking across strata? Um, everybody's going to get one kind of thing, um, and how then are you going to make sure that this happens? No, we started with the, with with hotspots mm. as defined by by the government, right. um, and Nairobi. Uh, Mombasa, Kilifi, and and so on, yeah. and we are doing we we are doing this in two ways. Number one, we are going directly to the most vulnerable. Take 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 the the informal areas of Kenya, the Islam areas. To be honest, yeah. um, Kibera, uh, um, Mukuru, and so on, yeah. where we deliver directly and work with groups. Which are working in there already, like the Shofko in uh, in 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 Kibra with Jockey Karaoke and and her group there, with with Keto Classics and and, and in, in 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 Korogosho and those and those kinds of groups. And we are looking to work to to partner with those in in most places. Number two, we are also as a national government body working with the county commissioners so we have delivered uh pro- pro- products directly to the county commissioners there is a third element by the way uh we have delivered uh, already a six thousand liters and we'll deliver more to the police and prisons for for how long john um do you anticipate this one million liters of sanitizer would last and what will happen after it's it's over well a couple of things Num- n- number one sanitizers is not our business mm-hmm. what we have done and what we hope we have done is to stimulate and interest others who will do this also to also to also to enter we are using dark don't forget, we are using an ethanol which has been uh, obtained from 
from the KRA, which had been seized by the KRA yeah. for tax for tax reasons. We do have people like EABL who are now denaturing alcohol to, to make sanitizers. We are getting ethanol from the likes of Kenya wine agencies. But, but really, ours was a catalytic role to encourage, to, for, 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 first of all, to fill an immediate gap. And then, uh, and then secondly, to encourage either makers of sanitizers or makers of soap and suppliers of water to, ha to have time to, 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 to come to the party, so to speak, mm -hmm. as, as we exit. So ours co look at ours as a quick response by the government while the rest of, of, the, of, the, of the agencies and companies who are far better placed to do this they get their acts together. So like a catalyst then to get other people moving? Absolutely. And mm. we hope we have because by the, <laughs> given the, the amount of people who have come to us asking to work with us, mm. I, I think that catalytic role has, 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 has panned out even uh, better than we thought it would have. Mm. Let's talk about accountability now, John, where you're distributing mm -hmm. a million liters of hand sanitizer mm -hmm. in a market that also has mm -hmm. other players distributing theirs mm -hmm. for sale. Mm -hmm. Now, you. this is not the, the job that Kenya Pipeline does, distribution nope. of, of hand sanitizer or anything for free. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we know in this country, when you especially talk about uh, those vulnerable communities, people take advantage mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they go and hoard this product and start selling it mm -hmm. uh, on the back door. How do you ensure mm -hmm. that this reaches the intended beneficiary? You know, we can't solve all the problems of the world. I have, I've told you that first and foremost, in Nairobi's Islam areas, we are working with the groups who work directly with the people. So our hope is that the groups whose credibility and continued existence depends on their being honest and working with their communities will deliver that sanitizer to them. Mm -hmm. the, the other group is, or rather the other route we are, we are using is the county commissioners we hope that it gets to the people uh, we uh, we uh, we 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 aren't policemen and we really can't stand with a stick in hand to ensure that every sanitizer gets to the person we do what we can and what we have done is to produce the sanitizer and to try to the best of our ability to make sure that it gets to the end user but we will not promise that um, leakage, so to speak, will we will not we will, we will not occur. To the best of your knowledge, John, is there any conversation that's happening in government quarters to help stimulate the other private sector players to be able to produce this faster and uh, more affordably to the populace? For instance, tax breaks or in terms of availability of the raw materials. That I don't know, but I do know that there is, there is an, an initiative by, by some players to request government to allow them to import or produce ethanol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's what you want. Okay, John, taking you back to the money. Um, assuming money, the cost... Money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, in this country, when we hear money, all our ears are up. And all our if, you combine, if you combine money and Kenya pipeline, yeah, continue. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm looking at it. If assuming the cost is two billion, is it yeah. is there actual money changing hands, moving around, or is it in kind? Because you've mentioned several players uh, who will come along: EABL, Coca Cola, wine agencies. Is it all in kind or is there actual money that will move hands at some point or that will need to move hands at some point? And if so, what are your estimates? None of those entities have asked for a penny. Everybody is doing, everybody is, contri is contributing in kind. Ah, that's very good. That's very good news. Mm -hmm. Will you pass our regards to them on our behalf? I mean, anybody who is contributing to this um, is, mm -hmm. is welcome. Yep, it's it's Kenya Pipeline. It's the oil marketers Vivo, um, Kennel Cobel, Oil Libya, mm. Total. It's uh, Musk. It's uh, SGR. It's uh, 
it, it's uh, EABL, it's Coca-Cola, it's Kenya Wine Agencies, and also uh, latching on to the same distribution system that we have put together are the likes of Menengai and Pwani. Mm-hmm. So uh, we what uh, are Menengai and Pwani uh, um, uh, assisting Mene- with? Mene- Menengai. R- r- remember, I said that ours is a stopgap measure. Yes, that the real that the, the real McCoy will be with sanitai with the with the sanitizer players coming in, yes. but also people with 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 water and uh, and soap. Well, Menengai and others have contributed soap mm. and Pwani oil have uh, have 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 used their their product and lines also to to produce and uh, distribute in the coast region. Okay. So, John, uh, yeah. just before we let you go, just remember one of the areas mm. that you could consider as you are distributing mm. this is uh, the quarantine mm. facilities. Yes, that so is a we, we point that... We understand they don't have. Actually, there, there are two areas which I, which have occurred to, to me in the last 24 hours, in the last 48 hours. First one is the quarantine areas, and the second one is um, is Huduma, because... Huduma Kenya came came to me last night and told me that they are serving people and they have nothing. So that that is, is, is something that we are taking up rather urgently. Hmm. Number three, police officers. We have already supplied to the police and are going to supply more. Okay. Uh, we, we've already supplied 6,000 liters mm-hmm. and have, have committed more. So what I would ask you is to ask your people to contact Kenya Pipeline uh, for those groups which are closest in touch with people, yeah. w- w- with people in need. We don't know them. We know a few, but we, we do not know them. And we are responding positively to any such request. How do okay. they get in touch with you? Well, uh, the easy, I could give you some long and detailed, but send them to me. I will ensure it gets to them. My email address is easy john.ngumi at kpc.co.ke john.ngumi at, at kpc at, no no john.ngumi at, at kpc.co.ke and my my phone number has inhabited my business cards for the last 20 last 25 years it, it's no longer a secret so <laughs> you may you, you you may you may you may give it out but i really do emphasize that we are doing this because we are part of government we've seen what's happened we have the expertise and we have the will and the means to do it and we we, we will do it we will catalyze and hopefully we will we will get those players who 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 are more able to to do what we are doing to come in and do it while we go back to it to ensuring that you're all able to drive to your offices mm. john you're a money man if we move a little bit from philanthropy and talk about money matters because there are decisions the government has to make, is there something you could say from your vast experience in financial matters that you think might contribute to this situation that you are in? Well, and if that is a debate for... for, yes. for, for this, is actually C, this is actually C.T. Muga. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to look at that as a debate for another day. I have very strong views, but I think that... Uh, expressing them now is not quite the right platform. Thank you. (laughs) John Gumi, chairman of the Kenya Pipeline Company, Asante Sana, and thank you very much to Kenya Pipeline for the leadership role that you've taken on this. Thanks, John. Good job. Asante Sana. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Cheers. Good day.